What's up everyone, Alex here with Off The Cuff Reviews. I am back again to bring you guys a special new video. This time we're gonna be talking about the new movie Spiral. So let's get into it. <laughs> Spiral, the Book of Saw, was written by Josh Stolberg and Peter Goldfinger, and it was directed by Darren Lynn Bowsman. And that name might sound familiar because Darren Lynn Bowsman also directed Saw 2, 3, and 4. His directing style definitely shines through with this. There's a lot of very fast-paced, intense scenes where there are like the torture scenes and gore scenes they're very you he has a certain style and it's definitely prevalent here and quite frankly that is one of the best parts of this movie so the synopsis of spiral goes as follows a criminal mastermind unleashes a twisted form of justice in spiral the terrifying new chapter from the book of saw so that synopsis does not really give much away it kind of is very bland and Quite frankly, so is this story. The writing here is very poor. It is not very good. It feels like there's not even a second where it's even remotely believable in any line of dialogue delivered by any of the characters. Not saying that the the acting is bad because Chris Rock's a good actor. Samuel L. Jackson is a good actor, like one of the best. And Chris Rock is definitely up there in, in acting. He he has a, like, yeah, he's funny, but he is a pretty good actor for the most part. By the way, other than Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson, I have not heard of many of the people that are in this movie, almost not a single other person. There's only one other person that I know on this cast list, and that is Chris Ramsey, and that's only because I follow him on YouTube. He's a YouTuber. He plays, he, you'll see him, he actually has like a decent part in this movie, um, even though he's listed as crack punk as his character, he doesn't really have a name, but he does a good job in this movie for the most part, but there's not much to work with. They actually threw a lot of money at this movie and you wouldn't be able to tell that they actually did that. There's not anything redeemable about this movie at all all the only thing that really has me like that actually kept me invested was the fact that i wanted to see chris ramsey i watched this from beginning to end and it was almost unbearable by the end i couldn't even fucking sit there and actually get to the end without like rolling my eyes that there's no real twist there's nothing like that is anything that you would be interested in in this movie the kill scenes even though they might be creative and they actually thought about them they did not execute them properly and that's another problem with this movie this franchise thrives on lower budgets that's why these movies do so well in the box office because the budget is so low there's a lot of butts and seats this time the budget was almost 40 million dollars now in comparison to saw 2 which was the first one that um darren lynn bowsman directed that had a four million dollar budget that's almost 10 times the amount and i could only assume that almost that entire fucking amount of money that they put into this probably went to the two main stars of this movie samuel l jackson and chris rock let's be real because there is nothing redeemable at all like this is not a movie that i would recommend to anybody not even the most diehard saw fan and i didn't know what i was expecting i, I guess i thought they would deliver more especially because of the Budget. when i saw the budget for this i was like oh like maybe it could actually be good but no you could tell that none of the budget went to anything that would be make this marketable i don't want this to sound like a hit piece like on this movie i was actually excited to watch this and i just now i'm left really disappointed but what did you guys think of this there you have it that's my review for spiral the 
Book of Saw. If you guys like this or any of my other videos, uh, hit that subscribe button down below. A lot more people will see these videos if you guys drop a like or drop a comment or something or if you guys subscribe after watching it. So please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Stay safe, everybody. Thank you.